so this is the provider portal and i would be putting you through um how to make use of the provider portal so i would put in the url here care.ultimate healthhmo.com click on enter then i get this page that requires me to sign in with my provider login details for new providers that do not have access to our provider portal they can click here to sign up the hcp so when they click here they can register the hospital name so i say for example we have flora hospital uh we'll put in the email address of flora hospital here so we have flora at hospital.com at whatever could be gmail could be yahoo and could be the companies or the hospitals webmail the phone number we can have the hospitals contact here and then the hcp code we can have fct slash zero zero one then the contact person whoever it is in charge at that particular facility so we can have dr flora here so i submit and once you submit we receive your request and then we communicate your login details back to you to the email address that was used to register so once you get your email address you can now input them here and then you go test at a day.com and then i have my password I put my password here and then i log in so when i log in i get this pop-up that says i'm logged in successfully so on this page i can see a data of this facility here and i can see the amount of bill paid in the last six months bill paid in the last 12 months rejected bills in the last 12 months and the bill unpaid in the past 12 months here i can see the total number of lives that this facility has uh, i can see the total number of private lives that this facility has I can see the number of NHIS lives, the total number of codes approved, the number of rejected claims, total complaints, total payments, the number of unapproved claims, the number of claims approved, the number of admission cases, the number of referral cases. And here is a little pie chart of um, these data, admissions, referral, complaints, claims, and encounter. Um, on the menu bar on the left-hand side, I can see about 10 modules here with all having individual functionality. So here we can come to this create new code um, module for facilities trying to send authorization requests to Ultimate Health HMO. We come to this, uh, you're required to come to this module, create new code. So I would click on it now. So here I have uh, a pop-up here of empty, empty bars that I have to input data into. So um, I will go on and show a demo or a demonstration. Um, so here I can just input in the enrolly ID, the enrolly that wants to access care. So let me go three one three. So I have Saleh Mohammed. So I click on that. Uh, I can so the unreleased information pops out. I can see the unreleased date of birth here. I can also see the unreleased primary HCP here. So here it shows Usman Danfodio University Teaching Hospital. So now I'll go ahead and impute the diagnosis of the unreleased. And so let's go with malaria. And then unspecified malaria so procedure i'll just go ahead to pick special initial consultation you can pick a 10 meter here and clinical findings could be malaria with fever uh, the unreleased phone number is also required so we can just put in 0801 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 so if i am sending an uh, an authorization code request i click on this button right here 
send authorization code request. Yeah, uh, the authorization code request has been sent. So uh, let's try again to send for authorization. Let's send an authorization request for a different case scenario. So I go with Saleh Mohammed again. Uh, let's say malaria for the diagnosis, unspecified malaria. Then consult meter. So now you can increase the quantity of a meter that you're requesting for. Uh, you can increase the number of quantity and then you can add as much drugs as you want to add. So uh, say I want to add um, paracetamol tablets. I can add paracetamol tablets. If I want to request for antibiotics, say ciprofloxacin, uh, I can also, you know, add as much as I want to request, as much as is required. To be requested for so the enrollee phone number like i said is required so you can just put in the enrollee phone number right here then the clinical finding malaria with fever again um, so now if i am sending admission request i'll click on this uh toggle here send admission request i can select the number of days um, um i'm requesting for so one day, two day, three day, four days, five days. So here, let's go five days. Send admission request. So my admission request has been sent. So let me also show you how to send referral request. So let's go with that same and really Saleh Mohammed. And yeah, we can pick malaria again for the diagnosis which is also required so unspecified malaria consult uh, at so this is the bar for the services and this is the bar for the drugs that you're requesting for so in relief phone number is also required um, clinical findings we could also go malaria with fever and then send referral request so now i have to search for the provider I'm referring this particular in relief to. So I'm let me use test hospital. So I can also write a comment here. This is a referral case. And I can send in referral request. So now my referral request has been sent. So now for me to be able to see the status of this authorization request that we have sent out, then we come, we have to come to this third module here that reads all generated code. So we're going to click on it. So here we can see a breakdown of all code that has been requested for. And here the status says code rejected, code authorized, primary case one day admission code authorized and these are the four code we requested for just now in this demo and the status is yellow which means it's still on hold it hasn't been attended to so um let's hold on a few minutes and see the status of the code so here i can see it's just been 30 seconds and now i can see the, the notifications that my code requests have been attended to. So I'll go ahead and give this page a refresh. And here I can see there's already been updates to the codes that we requested for. So here I can see code has been rejected. So let's let's see why. So um, it shows. So this was the first request we made and it was rejected and the reason was the diagnosis was not specified. So it comes in as red, the red bar, the code was rejected. So the enrollee can access care. So this is the status on this code. For this, we requested for, this was the admission request and it was rejected, but was updated now here as two days admission. 
so instead of the five days we requested for now we have two days admission here for this this code was authorized so the enrollee can go ahead to receive treatment and now i want to show us how to um, authorize for referral cases so even release are sent to your facility as a referral case how to validate the unreleased referral status so now we have to click on this fourth module here that says enrollee referral so when i click that i'm going to have this page uh here i can just click here and then pick or type in the referral code then we can click on this validate code button so i'm going to click that and then this comes out so yes this enrollee was actually referred to this test hospital on the 13th of march 10 18 a.m so i can view what the enrollee was referred for so here there's there's nothing here but um the clinical finding was malaria the diagnosis was unspecified malaria um so whatever the the referring hospital or facility request for would pop out here and then we can now go ahead to treat the patient or otherwise um which brings me to the fifth model the claims processor so claims as we all know is um a batched group of authorization code over a period of time so it could be authorization codes from the 1st of january to the 31st of january from the beginning to the end of the month so when hcps want to send their bills to ultimate health hmo they come to this fifth model here so they can filter the date so say we're sending a bill for 1st of march to 31st of march click on this fetch data button after filtering the date and after we do that we send bill so you can decide to send just the nhis bill you can decide to send just the phis bill and you can as well decide to send all bill phis and nhis so i'll go ahead and click this yeah and here i have updated successfully so ultimate health hmo would have received your bill immediately you click on that button so um that brings me to this rejected claims model which would show a list of the claims that was sent and rejected by ultimate health hmo and here this would show the status of the bill that was sent to us the primary bill that was sent to us here you can get your payment advices for bills that have been paid for so um you can get payment advice um so you can get payment advice you can get payment advice for nhis only you can filter the month the year you want to generate your payment advice for um and here you can have your unpaid bills report so you can have a report on whatever bills that hasn't been paid yet you can export reports nhis only for whatever reason as you as the facility may wish to and here you have the complaint module where you can raise complaints so you i'll go ahead and click on create new and here i can have re uh, complaint and i can complain for i can just go ahead and say delay in response to authorization to authorization code made on the 14th of march 2024 at exactly 2 Oh, 09 a.m and i can submit my complaint so when you submit your complaint we at ultimate health hmo will receive your complaint you're being given a complaint code 
and the complaint status would be open unless until it is attended to so here you can view the status of your complaint and then would also would always try to communicate back to the facility and here's the logout button so when you're done for the day you want to clock out or you want to close for the day, you can always log out here click on log out and that's all for how to use Ultimate Health HMO provider portal.